Our Father Cares, a daily YouTube devotional with Christian Bernal and the Shepherd's Call team. Join us for today's devotional thought. Good morning and thank you for joining us for our AM devotion here at Shepherd's Call Ministry. I hope you had a beautiful weekend and uh, I'm excited for the new week. I hope you are as well. The trials it'll bring, but also the triumphs. Let's have a word of prayer before we begin. Father in heaven, thank you for a new week. Thank you for uh, all the work that you will lay before us and the souls that you'll put across our path that need to hear the gospel. I pray you would make us aware of them. And Lord, I pray that you would bless us now with the Holy Spirit as we move forward through this book. It's been a tremendous blessing to me so far. And I know it has to my brothers and sisters that are watching. I pray, Father, that you would teach us what it is you want us to know about God this morning. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. This morning is, Who Shall Receive God's Seal? Mm -hmm. Now this is very important. Mm -hmm. I'll read the scripture this morning from Revelation 7, verses 2 and 3. I saw another angel ascending from the east, having the seal of the living God, and he cried with a loud voice to the four angels, to whom it was given to hurt the earth and the sea, saying, Hurt not the earth, neither the sea, nor the trees, till we have sealed the servants of our God in their foreheads. Mm -hmm. That is very powerful. I'm excited to yes. see what the commentary is on this one. Uh, Papa, will you start reading for us this morning? Yes. Thank you. The seal of the living God will be placed upon those who bear a likeness to Christ in character. Mm -hmm. As wax takes the impression of the seal, so the soul is to take the impression of the Spirit of God and retain the image of Christ. Mm -hmm. It is obedience to the principles of the commandments of God that molds the character after the divine similitude. There's a, mm -hmm. there's a lot in those sentences. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> so we know that the seal of the God is what? It's mm -hmm. placed upon those who... Yeah, only those. Who yeah, actually that's a good word. Only yeah. those, right? Only mm -hmm. those that bear the likeness to Christ in character. So it's a seal. Mm -hmm. It's not something that we're going to see as we walk around and see everybody's heads. Mm -hmm. uh, it's not like a, a, a tattoo or a mark. Uh, there, there are some Bible interpretations that people actually believe you're going to get a tattoo of 666 on your forehead and all that. And, and who's going to be deceived by that? Who's going to allow that if they're a Christian? Okay, I guess I shouldn't do this, but put the tattoo on my head. Now I have the mark of the beast. It's so superficial, and it, it's all symbolic. Mm -hmm. And really what it's saying is we're going to have the seal of God, which is his character, right? And interesting enough, physiologically, this frontal part of the brain is called the frontal lobe. The front part of that is called the prefrontal cortex, and that's where our character is contained. So in other words, my character, my forehead, mm -hmm. where my character is contained is like Christ. That's yeah. what it's yeah. saying. And we'll know that by how we go through the, 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 uh, with the people around us in the areas where we serve, and people will know there's something mm -hmm. different about their character. We have the seal of God. Amen. Yeah. Yeah. So it's and that only character is formed through keeping his commandments. Yeah, that's mm -hmm. the next yeah. point exactly. That character is formed mm -hmm. by keeping his commandments. Excellent. All right, who would like to pick up from there? I'll read. All right. The seal of God's law is found in the fourth commandment. This only of all the ten brings to view both the name and the title of the lawgiver. It declares him to be the creator of the heavens and the earth, and thus shows his claim to reverence and worship above all others. Mm -hmm. Aside from this precept, there is nothing in the Decalogue to show by whose authority the law is given. What is that saying? That, I mean, that's powerful. Mm -hmm. uh, we as Seventh-day Adventists understand what this means. Right. So let's break it down for maybe some of our non-Adventist or brand new Seventh-day Adventist viewers. What is this saying? That's very important. The seal of God is found in the Fourth Commandment. Well, the Sabbath. The Sabbath? Yeah. Yep. Well, and it says it's the only one that declares him to be the creator of the heavens and the earth. So it's mm. actually declaring it's that because he says it's, he's the creator. Yeah, and that's a very important part. So if we <laughs> took out the fourth commandment, what God is it talking about? Well, it doesn't say, it, it obviously doesn't declare him as creator if that one's not there. And it right. also says which it 
it says, and thus shows his claim to reverence and worship above all others. Right. So the other ones of, of reverencing him first and worshiping him first, they won't mean as much if it didn't have the fourth commandment as him being the creator. With, yeah, <laughs> without that fourth commandment, because like in a seal, like it, it started off here talking about wax and a seal of wax. They would, mm -hmm. a king would have his ring, right? Mm -hmm. And sometimes he would give his king his ring to other people in his parliament, in his court, and they would drip wax on that, that envelope, and then they would put the, the, the king's ring or that little seal on there, and it would always say who this, the power is by, what dominion they had over, and that they were the ruler, right? Mm -hmm. So you had the, their, their title, you had the lands that they, they claimed, right? Mm -hmm. And they were the ruler of what province, of, of, of what large place or, what, or small place. So it's the same with God. The law of God is the seal. It says in there, I am God, not just God, but I'm the creator God. Creator God. Yeah. It's so. not Muhammad or Buddha or maybe Muhammad, but Buddha or these <laughs> other ones that they have out there that people have set up these gods or these idols. Mm -hmm. And God says, no, mm -hmm. by the way, I'm the creator God. You guys can't claim that because mm -hmm. you're just like prophets that people have set you up on pedestals or whatever. I'm the creator God. So he's saying, look, I'm the creator God, and you should worship me, and here's the day you should do it on, the way you should do it, and I own it all. <laughs> if you take out the fourth commandment, it could be any person claiming to be God. Mm -hmm. But I can't claim to be God because I didn't create everything. Yeah. It's very important. Very and what's sad is that it's the one commandment that starts with the word remember the Sabbath day and most all of Christianity has forgotten it. Yeah, yeah. And it points to the Creator. They've so if you take that out, out if you take out the fourth, that. you could become a, 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 an evolutionist. Because mm -hmm. <laughs> creation is talked about in the fourth. Mm -hmm. So it's important to keep the commandments of God. All ten of them. Amen? Yeah. Mm -hmm. All ten of them. All right, mm -hmm. who wants to continue on? I think I'm reading the next okay, paragraph right. there. Thank you. The Israelites placed over their doors a signature of blood to show that they were God's property. So the children of God in this age will bear the signature God has appointed. They will place themselves in harmony with God's holy law. A mark is placed upon every one of God's people just as verily as a mark was placed over the doors of the Hebrew dwellings to preserve the people from the general ruin. God declares, I gave them my Sabbaths to be a sign between me and them that they might know that I am the Lord that sanctify them, Ezekiel 20, 12. So as important as the, the signpost blood, because mm. there was a, in, in uh, early Egypt, uh, excuse me, in uh, early Israel, when Israel was in Egypt, there was a time when the destroying angel was going to be coming over the, the country and wiping out all the children. But... God gave a provision for those who believed in the true creator God and said, if you put sacrifice an animal, put some blood on your doorpost, then the destroying angel will pass over that knowing that that's my house, that's God's house, that God is loved and revered there and I will protect the children of that home. And anybody who didn't by faith do the simple little task of putting that on there was showing and revealing that they had zero faith in God and did not want Him. And their firstborn sons mm -hmm. were and their, killed. And like their firstborn Pharaoh, sons were killed. Pharaoh's mm -hmm. son was killed. Mm -hmm. and, and so that's a matter of life and death yes. for them. And obviously it's a matter mm -hmm. of life and death for us. I gave them my Sabbaths. So that's, that's the right. sign between me and them. So that's the same idea. It's the sign. It says and it was no these are God's hard people. Thing. These aren't God's people. I'm sorry, that's right. <laughs> yeah, it's, These are God's, these are not God's, exactly. Mm -hmm. It was no hard thing. Yeah to put the blood over the sign. It was just something that they had to do. Did they actually believe him or not? Yeah. It's no hard thing to take a day off. Mm -hmm. <laughs> of all things, God says, take a day off. Spend it with me. Yeah. <laughs> I'm just not going to do it. Okay, free will. You get to choose. Mm -hmm. I get to choose. That We all get to do that. It's no hard thing. God says, I will give you a sign between you and me. Keep my Sabbath holy. Yeah. Done. I'm in. Sign mm -hmm. me up. <laughs> Amen. <laughs> All right, who has the last there? Just as soon as the people of God are sealed in their foreheads, it is not any seal or mark that can be seen, mm -hmm. but a settling into the truth, both intellectually and spiritually, so they cannot be moved. Just as soon as God's people are sealed and prepared for the shaking, it will come. Mm -hmm. Indeed, it has begun already. The judgments of God are now upon the land. 
that we may know what is coming. Wow. And God has been faithful. He loves us so much that He gives us all the information we need that we can make mm. informed decisions. He doesn't leave us out to dry, hang us out there and say, just figure this out. No, He actually says, look, I'll give you all the signs. I'll That's give right. you all the signposts, the mile markers, and you can know, man, there's 300 miles total to go in the journey. We're at like 299. <laughs> We're almost done. Yeah. And some people are going on with their lives like that Jesus is just he's so far off, it's not going to happen. Mm -hmm. And the reality is as we look around, we look at the economic challenges around the world, not just in our country, all everywhere. We look at the moral decay everywhere. We look mm -hmm. at wars and rumors of wars. We look at natural catastrophes and, and so many of them now. Every day we hear about something now. It used to be every once in a while, some great event would happen. It's something happening everywhere. The earth is trembling and shaking. And God's saying, wake up, my people, wake up. I can't keep giving you chance after chance after chance mm -hmm. after chance. And if you just don't accept it, you don't accept it. But he's saying, I want to save a few more. Mm -hmm. And so God's going to do everything he can until he knows every man and woman and child on this planet has heard the gospel of Jesus Christ. It's our job to get out there because I want to be one who receives the seal of God. Amen? Amen? I want that seal of God. Do you? I hope you do. Remember, it's not because God wants to do something mean to us. He just wants to help us because our Father cares. God bless you. Excuse me. God bless you and have a beautiful week. Bless. <laughs>